back everyone. Another beer review. Eric and Jose. I would be Jose. That would be Eric. Eric. Uh, here in Baldwin Park. Uh, obviously at night. It's starting to get a little warm, but uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, a beer sounds about right. Yeah. There we go. Ale Smith Old Ale. Barrel They're aged. Barrel aged Old Ale in uh, bourbon and brandy barrels. This one is uh, 11%. Eric got this one this year. I love Old Ales. I like them a lot too, but I've been lately going on a strong ale kick. Mm. So, you know, kind of the same. Kind of similar. Yeah, kind of Very the same. similar. Yep, probably should get more in print. Now that definitely looks like soda. A little brownish. Whoa, I can smell it from here. Mmm. That definitely smells barrel aged. Molassesy. Smells kind of like dates. Not a lot of hit on this. Sugar, brown sugar. Not smelling too much booze. Definitely smells a lot like dates. Mm. Hmm. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That's freaking honey. Whoa. That's mousse, yeah. Um, caramel. Man, that almost made my eyes water a little bit. <laughs> this is hmm. this is really really good. I love this one. Yeah, it has a huge like honey backbone. Yeah, it's got a good bite to it too. It's got a weird, like, sort of, like a tartness almost. It's not not quite a tartness, but it's almost like it. Wow. This is really good. It says burnt toffee. Kind of makes sense. Mm. Uh, quite different from their regular one. <laughs> from their regular uh, old ale. This, the no. barrel aging just, there's nothing yeah. compared to it. <clears throat> this is a, a good example of how different barrel aging can be. Because... From what I remember, it does not taste the the regular one does not taste anything like this. It, it just uh, this this transformed essentially. Yeah. It's into something totally, almost totally different. Really, it's it's, it's boozy. It kind of it kind of burns a bit. It, I could definitely feel the the warmth in this right here. Yeah, this is uh, thirty dollars. Whoa, 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 whoa! Just that barrel agent just makes it just like not even another level another like two three yeah. levels it's just it's really good i would definitely yeah. get this instead of two uh regular ones yeah you know i think for this one i might have to agree with you um it's definitely different it's just it's much boozier for some reason because i mean I, we've had 11 percent before but for some reason this tastes like it's boozier than 11 percent, and it's just a uh, great aftertaste where it really goes it down is. it's like rounded but interesting round mm -hmm. where it, it it's like a joy to drink it it's not too boozy it's not too anything and it's really delicious this is really good this is an easy 10 this yeah, is easy 10. definitely i kind of wish we had gotten two now <laughs> yeah you know, this one flying under the radar too, because yeah, no, no yeah. one's talking about Oldale, you know, or even Oldale styles in general, really. That's true. Yeah, this is really one to keep an eye out for. If you can get a hold of this one, the, the barrel aged one, and, you know, get the, uh, the the regular one and just do a side by side comparison, you'll be able to see it's, oh, it's yeah. totally different. Yeah. Good job, Eric. Yeah. Pat yourself in the back. Kind yeah. Of thing. Yeah. Good job. It's a golden road, barrel aged. No, it isn't. <laughs> they might be doing so, actually. Are you ready? Yeah. What do you think it is? It looks small, so I don't think it's, I don't know. It looks like it's a 12 ounce or maybe. I don't, I don't know. Well, uh, you're never going to guess it. So. Okay. Ah. Wow. This is Fig Papa. <laughs> Barrel aged in uh, oak barrels. There you go. With figs added in it. And it actually has Brett in it. 
Oh, cool. So it's kind of, uh, I think it's a perfect comparison with the old ale, which is a little uh, different and strange in its own way. And this is supposed to be very Both different. Both coming out too. of left field kind of thing. Yeah, I got this through a trade, and you can see right here that it has a cool little diamond, or what diamond is it? around there. This came out last year for sure. I wanted to get this and I couldn't make it. And uh, it sold out. This is Noble's, I think, first barrel aged beer. Yeah. So very, very limited. I got that through with um, Damien, if you watch this whole thing. Shout out to him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll sell it on eBay. <laughs> 20 bucks. That's fair. Hmm. Looks kind of like an amber. Well, not anymore. Yeah, no, not too much head. So, this is, uh, you Ooh. said your first batch, right? I think. Is that about right? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is, tastes like taste. This uh, this smells like I don't know why, but I got cinnamon bread for some reason. Mm, it does smell very bready. Hmm, almost like French toasty smell. I don't know for some reason I'm getting a French toast kind of notes in this. Like vanilla. Yeah, it smells like vanilla. I guess dates. I guess that would be the fig. Definitely do smell the figs a bit. Really nice. Yeah, not really a lot of head, is there? Nope. Alright, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, whoa. That is completely different. Yeah. It, that is very different from uh, the old ale. Mm. This is 11.8%, and I think... Uh, it originally went for a twenty dollars a bottle. Mm. This is um, it's a little lighter, like lighter bodied. I, I should say it's a little lighter bodied. Um, you can get you get the booziness, but it's not up front. It's a, the booziness is a little mellow. It smells great as you drink it. It smells kind of tart a little bit. It actually has a slight tartness to it. It does, and I think that's the the bread in it. It's yeah. kind of like a like a very strong ale with um, some of that booziness that the uh, barrel aging has to it. But it has that that tartness. I've mm. not tasted any other beer that's like this. No, this is completely like in its own little class or yeah. subsection. You know, I'm not really getting the booziness too much it's not strong but I can like feel it like not right up front but towards like the front end and it goes away kind of quick yeah it comes and it's just, it's just a flash it comes and you can you can feel it and then it's just pretty much gone after that if you, you know if you even look at it it looks like very flat soda yeah mine looks a lot like flat soda. yeah it's just uh, and it tastes very light-bodied when everyone was sort of on that Brett, you know, like, what was that, like last the, summer or something like that the, or whatever? Brett cock. Yeah. Everyone was on, on yeah, on Brett's cock and just sort of um, all over that thing, slobbering all over it. So, of course, I was like, let's see what the, the big deal is. And yeah. I had to try a few of them, you know, and uh, they're good. But, I mean, you know, I don't know. It's just more of a summer beer for me, but... Yeah, this is very strange. Yeah, it's, it's uh, I, I very know, unique, uh, I should say. I don't know. I, I can't really compare it with anything because it's, it's kind of like this. It's kind of like that. And then it's just sort of like, like, it's just really its own little thing. It's, yeah. it's super niche, you know. Like yeah, it is. You know what? I think it would have scored higher points with me if it, if it had been straight up, like, without the bread. The bread just cuts through all that. Yeah, and even though it's you know it's a strong ale or something, has the figs, it's 
barrel aged or whatever that bread just cuts through right all that it does and you can just taste it throughout the whole thing um i'm getting a slight like uh that warmth mm -hmm. in my throat and i don't know i i'm not a big brett guy and uh maybe bread people would think this is the best one or whatever but i don't like i don't gravitate towards the bread at all i don't really like it too tart Maybe I'm not a sophisticated uh, beer snob. Your style. palate's not there yet. Maybe. Yeah, because I don't really go for sours either. So, and that kind of, it's already leaning down that. Yeah. It's kind of it really, towards a sour You uh, know what? Beers. Yeah, th this kind of reminds me of, um, I don't know if you remember, but when we um, had a long time ago, Sour in the Rye. If a sour beer and a, and a strong ale were to have uh, a baby, this is kind of what it would be. Because... It's kind of like going, it's just, it's it's sort of hopping through one, it's straddling the fence, basically. That's what it is. I'm going to give it a seven. I, this is the bread, I think what kills it, honestly, is the bread. And I don't mm -hmm. like that. So maybe for someone else who does like that, it would be a score higher. But it's still, I would still recommend getting it. I don't regret trading for it and it's uh it's like a whale you know i check off the list and it's super limited super rare so it, yeah. and and it's very it's one of the most unique beers i've had so far this year yeah it doesn't really taste like anything and it's forever going to be ingrained into my uh my uh my beer bank that i have yeah. and trust me it, it works so you know i remember everything <laughs> so um so yeah I, I really like it a lot. Seven, uh, but seven's still pretty decent. I think, you know, I'm kind of torn. I, I, I almost don't know what to rate it. Um, because it just, it, it is, it, it really is like having two feet in two, like one foot in two different classes of beer. Yeah. And its combination is a little strange. I don't know if I like it or not. I really don't. Because I like certain things about it, but then that, that bread just comes through a little too heavy. It just sort of like, you know, it comes in like Hulk and just sort of, you know, smashes everything, really. So you do get some things, but that bread really does overpower it. So maybe because I'm on, I'm kind of on the fence about this, uh, I'm, I might have to just try, just agree with you, I guess, with the 7. Because it's not terrible. It's not terrible. And I wouldn't say this is an average beer because it's not. It's not a 5. Um, so I kind of would have to say this is a seven, mostly on uniqueness, you know, um, the taste, it just, it's here and there. Very it's, innovative. It, it really is. It might be almost, um, too, ahead of you know, time. ahead of its time for anyone really. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I'm glad I tasted this for sure. Uh, cause really limited, uh, when are we ever going to probably see another hybrid like this again? Yeah. Probably never. So yeah, I guess a seven for now, you know, asterisk on that. I guess a good experimental drinking. Yeah. So yeah, I like them a lot. Um, definitely opened my eyes to revisit an old classic with uh, Old Dale. All right. That's it. That's it. So uh, cheers, everyone, and uh, drink responsibly, I guess. See you later. See ya. It's kind of like a quad. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's that, that's a good one. Yeah, I, I think that's like kind aged. of... That's kind of what it is. Yeah, it is sort of like a quad. Yeah. Hmm.